Hello, today's devotional can be found in the Joseph Smith translation to Galatians chapter 3, verse 19. Wherefore then, the law was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made in the law given to Moses, who was ordained by the angels, by the hand of angels to be a mediator of this first covenant the law. All right, so here's the thing. God sometimes gives us simple laws. He's done so throughout history. They're pretty simple laws that are just simple enough that he asks us to do something in exchange for blessings. But, you know, people just they find it too easy coming from God. They think just because he's God, they should give something greater, and they don't want to step out of their comfort zone, and they'd rather keep going the way they are instead of doing something that's out of their comfort zone, like the Israelites, for example. They were in a way of life, and then they were suddenly freed from that way of life, and look what happened. They immediately started making bad decisions because temptation came their way. A lot of people use the opportunity that freedom gives to do good things, but some are so overwhelmed by what's out there that they immediately start making bad decisions and they are better off with some sort of harness. And so the Israelites made bad decisions. God poured out his wrath upon them and instilled a punishment that that generation would be stripped of their blessings for their transgressions. And so it happened that way. And the same can happen to us. If we are given a commandment or something to do, and we fail to do it and instead use our time irresponsibly or frivolously, we will be held accountable and we may lose out on blessings that we were originally promised but failed to live up to. I mean, take the first part of the Book of Mormon. Joseph Smith translated that and then Martin Harris convinced him to fear man over God and lend out those pages and not protect them as sacred and those pages were lost and the privilege of translating that was lost because people were stupid and so those blessings were gone but Joseph or God had mercy on Joseph and said all right here's something else you can translate but you won't be able to go back to that again transgressions revoke blessings but God is not merciless we'll get other blessings but we will have lost blessings whenever we transgress and those blessings be given to someone else. I mean, we're not perfect people, nor can we be perfect people in this life. But we can do our best to obey the commandments and hopefully we'll get by. We are given extra preparatory laws if we can't follow the original law because God wants to start us out smaller if we prove to let him down when he gives us something, he will say, okay, we need to take several steps back and start smaller. You need a preparatory law before you can be trusted to carry this law because your choices and your behavior have shown me that you're not ready for this bigger law yet. And so it is today. We are given so many smaller laws and commandments to follow because we are not yet ready as a people for the bigger laws. We are not you are ready to become. The children of God we are meant to become. We choose. We are choosing the world more of us than not. And we are reluctant to come unto God and come unto Christ as much as we should. Because in general, so the, the Mormon population and the saints population and people in general are so attracted by the things of the world and then God comes along and says, okay, you need to do this. And they're like, I don't want to give up my comforts for something that isn't going to guarantee me something better. And so they don't, and, and they just 
they can't let themselves have faith in something they can't see. People would rather have faith in tangible things these days than listen to something they can't see, and that's the saddest thing in the world. And so they transgress for the sake of the tangible things rather than put their faith and obedience in something they can't see simply because that's how people are. We are limited people. We are limited in all ways and sometimes our limits become vices because they, we allow ourselves, we hold ourselves back from growing simply because we're afraid to grow. This will put us in Satan's power, but these lessons, all these lessons, having to maybe accept smaller laws and commandments because we're not ready for bigger ones, becoming less of the world and more, of, more children of God, these are lessons we all have to learn on our own, at our own pace. But as long as we're willing to learn, God will be with us and help us, and we can seek help and strength through the atonement as well. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.